Johnson leading the entire AHL with points on the power play in these Calder Cup playoffs. Connolly near side for Barbario at the point. Half wall Tyler Johnson, the league's MVP in the regular season. Connolly back for Johnson behind the net. Shovels it far boards. Andre Palat had the game winner in game three. Redirection, they score. Richard Panic, a power play goal. And with a minute gone by, Syracuse leads 1 0. Boy, this unit sure makes it look easy. Some nice uh, exchanges between Conley and Johnson. Got Springfield a little bit out of position, and then they switch sides over to Palat. 1 0 Syracuse just a minute in. It's a power play goal. They come back in. JT Brown with Angelitas cut and got it to him. It's a goal. Oh, wow. 2-0 Syracuse. The puck was sent by Brown in the left wing circle towards Angelitas cutting. I'm not ever sure he got a shot away. Just went off of Angelitas and passed McElhenney on a weird deflection. The crowd wants a too many men on the ice call. Connolly reacted but never played the puck. Went down to the right wing corner in the offensive zone for the Falcons. Gudis with a hit, now a penalty coming against Syracuse. A shot, save, rebound in front, they score! Delayed penalty. Puck somehow trickling in the blue ice. And the Falcons have cut into the lead for Syracuse. Now two to one crunch. It was Ryan Russell net front, his first goal of the playoffs, who picked up the rebound. Taramina, Johnson, and Korobov, the penalty killers. A dozen seconds. Shot deflected high and wide from Ryan Johansson. Back up high for Druzenovic. Eight seconds left. Druzenovic centers down low in front. What a diving save by Desjardins. Now in the circle. Tipped right across. It got just past Craig. And the penalty, or the period, will come to a close. Oh, my goodness. Cedric Desjardins looking skyward. And the Crunch fans in attendance love that effort. And the Falcons fans also love the work on that power play. Now Connolly along the blue line, changing places with Barbario. Now Johnson left wing circle. One penalty is over, but remember, they don't get to come out of the box. A shot, score! Well, Dan. Tyler Johnson from the left wing circle, power play goal, 3-1 to one Syracuse. At the blue line, pressure from Johnson. Back to the right, though. The Falcons. Oh, Holden had it hop over a stick. Here comes Johnson. Eight seconds on the penalty kill for the crunch. It's Johnson with Wyman shorthanded. Johnson dragging. He scores! Oh. Inside the post on the blocker side, the crunch with a shorthanded goal and now lead it 4-1. to one. Tyler Johnson with two shorthanded goals in this postseason, not to mention the most power play points in the entire league. Ooh, somebody didn't do their uh, homework on the scouting report when he produced six points. He led the league. Puck is trickling. It's in. Goal of that shot one. Desjardins made the stop, but he had gone across the goal line. It appeared, snatched it with his glove. The referee, the referee said it was a goal. He was in good position. Knocked away by Wyman. He gets it out. Here comes Tyler Johnson. Knocked away. Oh, look out. Wyman was hit hard on the near boards. He's back to his skates. Wyman comes to his aid. Nice job by comes. Wyman. That's awesome. And Wyman with a left on Prout. Johnson is fine, by the way, folks. He's up and he's skating, but it was a vicious hit from Prout. Wyman's jersey is pulled over his head. Prout with a couple of lefts, and then Wyman got knocked down to his knees. But regardless of that fight, who got the punches in? Clearly, Wyman instantly defending his teammate. I tell you what. Neutral zone draw, one by the Crunch, and Palat on the near side, forcing two Falcons to almost collide with each other. Crunch come in. Panic, great move to his right. Now through the circle. Return feed came from Palat. Johnson, score! Hat trick, Tyler Johnson! The first hat trick in crunch postseason history, and Syracuse leads 5-2. to two. A power play goal for Johnson, leading the Calder Cup playoffs on penalty, uh, power play points, and now goals as well. Three tonight, side of the net, Desjardins, sliding back and forth, puck from Holden, score! Redirected in front, and the Falcons are still alive, now trailing 5-3, to three, with 12 minutes left in the third. Tipped in front by Boone Jenner. Down to the final 10 seconds in game two. Puck picked up by Richard Panic. Backing off in his own zone. Plays it down the ice. Gloved at the blue line with three. With two. With one. Game two is over. The Crunch win it five to three. Scuffle at the end. Gudis in Panic for the Crunch. An extracurriculars. Oh, and a punch throw. Oh, the Crunch got to get out of this. They've got a 2-0 series lead. You don't want anybody suspended. The referee step in immediately, clearly frustrated Springfield Falcons losing two at home to begin this conference semifinal.